Hello all Blacks fans. How do you leave out a Barrett brother playing the rugby of his life? Or a two-time World Cup winner with more big game experience than anyone in these all Blacks? Or the man they not so long ago lauded as the most complete lock on the planet? If you don't want to miss this and other news, subscribe to the channel now so that YouTube continues to send you the news that I bring you daily about the All Blacks. Now let's get the news. That is the challenge facing All Blacks head coach Ian Foster and his forwards guru Jason Ryan leading into the 10th edition of the Rugby World Cup in France. With senior lock Sam Whitelock now fully fit and available after his recent Achilles issues, Scott Barrett in the midst of a season for the ages and big Brody Retallick having tucked away his first test of the year in commanding fashion against the Springboks, a dilemma is looming around the key second-row choices. Three into two, as we all know, does not go. And that will be the equation faced when the All Blacks sometime in September and October have to settle on their best starting second row and the backup charged with providing the all-important impact off the bench. In the normal course of events Whitelock, like Retallick playing his final season for the All Blacks before heading to Japan, would waltz back in as a World Cup starter. The 34-year-old dual world champion is the second most capped All Black of all time, is coming off a standout campaign with the Crusaders and carries the sort of news, toughness and line prowess that is considered invaluable at a pressure test such as the global tournament. Throw in that he and Retallick have started a world record 64 tests together in the All Blacks second row and you would think it might be the proverbial no-brainer. But the All Blacks axis has shifted just a little through the first two tests of 2023, with Whitelock absent to allow an Achilles tendon to come right. Foster's men have put the roller coaster campaign of 22 in their rearview mirror with a pair of command performances, and there's a school of thought that says Barrett, a physical demon and athletic specimen, and Retallick, who looks fit, bouncy and on top of his game, deserve to retain their spots of last weekend as the All Blacks starting second row combination. It's one of those selection conundrums a coach would kill for. Foster and Ryan may have some head scratching to do, and back-to-back Bledisloes against the Wallabies to continue the evaluation process, but their options are all what you might call compelling. Who do you believe brings more quality to the Blacks? Leave your comment below. Your opinion is very important for all blacks. I'll be back soon with more news.